All right, today I'm going to do a video on um, basically demystifying the engine identifications. So um, you go out on Moss Motors or a lot of other sites where they they try to give you some some help in determining what kind of engine you have for your MGB, um, and they'll tell you to look at a, a label that's supposed to be right here. It's a, an engine tag, um, and then look on the on the inside door to find out, you know, what type of uh, engine that you have, whatnot. The problem with that is, is that a lot of those things change. Uh, in this case, my my engine tag is missing. It's been uh, boiled off and removed over the years. It's been re remodeled and redone a couple of times. Um, and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through and identify for you uh, the different types of engines that you could have and help you identify what kind of engine you have so that when you're ordering parts, you don't do what I did and order the wrong pistons. Um, there are some significant changes that happen during different periods uh, that will affect your ordering of parts. So um, this is an 18V. I'll tell you straight up right now, it's an 18V. You don't have to look at the numbers. Uh, the three things that you can see to determine that this is an 18V is it has a downward facing oil filter that takes a canister, not a piece of paper. It's a screw on canister for the oil filter. It has a bump right here for the starter on the back plate of the engine. And I'll show you another couple of pictures that, that differentiate those two. And then the other thing here is on the timing chain cover, whether the timing marks are on the top or on the bottom. And I'll show you a couple of pictures of that too. Uh, in this case, all of these pointers identify that this is a late model 1977 MGB with an 18V engine. One of the other things that is a distinction, although you can't see it from the outside, is on the 18V, it has larger uh, intake valves, so they have a notch in each of the cylinders to make room for the intake valve. Those are the distinctions that you can see that are physical on the 18V so you can order your parts right. So let's break it down um, for the different seasons into different parts so you can identify what kind of engine you have. All right, so the MG came out in basically three flavors. <laughs> three major uh, improvements. The Mark I, the Mark II, and the Mark III. The Mark I uh, was originally, uh, it was the very first one put out there. They started making them in 62. Mark I goes from 62 to 67. Uh, that encompasses the, uh, the G, the GA, and the GB. Uh, so those are the different types of, of engines. So if you're looking at a, a classic old uh, chrome bumper, original 1960s um, MGB, it could be a Mark I. And the way that you would tell the difference between those models is uh, the way that uh, the tachometer is connected. In the 18G and GA, uh, the tach cable came off of, it was a mechanical cable, and it came off of the camshaft. So when you're looking at the engine and you look on the back, you can see the camshaft, ah, it's a hold, hold back down in there, but you will see it. When you get inside the engine, in the engine bay, you'll see that there is a, uh, a cable instead of a wire connecting to the, to the tachometer. Uh, and so that would let you know that it's a G or a GA. <clears throat> uh, the other series of uh, MGB Mark I is the GB, and uh, uh, that one had uh, five main bearings. So they went from... Uh, the three bearings to the five bearings. And you really can't see that from outside of the engine. Um, but uh, if you can see on here, this this one is the 18V, obviously, and it has uh, five main bearings. With the, uh, um, the, the G and the GA, they only had three. Um, and so it was just one, two, three um, uh, bearings. This uh, additional one was not, they were not there. Um, but the way that you can tell when um, the, uh, the the GB in that Mark One is it has um, a 
they, they added a, a bigger oil, oil pump and made it a standard to have an oil cooler. So uh, inside the engine compartment, you'll see that the oil will come off of the outside, where the, right from the, where the oil pump starts pumping, and it'll, it'll have a pipe that'll go to an oil cooler that'll go uh, out in front of the engine below the radiator. So if you have um, all those distinctions, you're a Mark I, um, and you have a, uh, uh, an oil cooler, then you know that you are um, an 18GB. <laughs> So then uh, they got into the Mark II. That, the Mark II went from 1967 to 1971. That encompasses the 18GD, the 18GF, the 18GG, GH, GJ, and GK. Um, those models um, have uh, a slightly different backplate. Uh, you really can't tell the difference on the, Mac, uh, on the backplate you can see on this one, there's a, a, a counter bore um, in these, but you, you can't see that from outside, um, looking from, from, you know, from the outside what it looks like. Um, but what you will see is it doesn't have this bump. That bump is not there um, on those models. The, uh, uh, the 18GD... Uh, um, uh, I'm sorry, the, the GH um, has it from, from 69, and that one has uh, the addition of the exhaust at emissions. Um, so you look on the head on that one, and although I have that on this one, I've already determined that I'm an 18G, G, or an 18V. But uh, um, the things that you can see on that is that if you don't have the bump, but you do have these additional ports for the exhaust emissions, then you could have that Mark II um, GH. Um, I don't have anything for the J and the K. You're out of luck with that one. Uh, but when you get to the, uh, um, the 68 and better, the 68 and better has a difference in the way that the, uh, um, uh, the timing, the timing uh, teeth are shown on the, on the timing chain cover. Um, and 68 was the beginning of the, of the, the G, GH series. So you could have um, a GH if you have uh, the timing chain uh, above that. So the, the difference in, in that the, um, the harmonic balancer or the main pulley that comes off the bottom here, it's, uh, it's keyed differently so that the timing marks on the pulley are read on the bottom. Uh, the, as I understand, the crankshafts are all keyed uh, in a standard uh, so that you know where pin one is uh, or where the piston one at top de dead, dead center is. Um, but uh, the, uh, the, the major distinction there is where the teeth are on your timing chain. The other major difference on the 18V, although you can't really see it from the outside, uh, working from the inside, you might be able to see some additional changes. Now, um, the stock 18Vs from 1971 forward had a single width timing chain. This timing chain, you can tell, is completely toast. It's really floppy. Um, and these uh, timing gears that, that are made for it, these are really worn out. You can see a lot of wear on them. There's a lot of slop in between. So I'm gonna replace these. And what you see is a lot of people with the 18V will buy the more robust um, uh, dual chain or dual row timing chain uh, because they, they last longer, they give you better timing and more, more reliable timing. And the other thing about that that you should consider is if you're going to keep with your standard um, cam, uh, that you should stick with the, with the standard chain. Uh, but if you go to the, uh, the double chain, it actually changes the timing slightly so that you have more um, high-end uh, power as opposed to low-end power. It just changes it just slightly. Um, but in that, I already have the um, uh, the fast road cam. I will be changing my cam or my uh, timing chain set over to the dual. Um, so anyway, I don't want to get off on a side on a side 
uh, rant there, but uh, hopefully um, this will give you a little bit of insight into how to physically look at the, the attributes of your engine, whether it's the back plate, the oil, or the timing chain cover, um, to give you some clues so that you can order the parts. Um, another distinction with the 18V is the uh, uh, the pistons. Obviously, I told you I, I missed the I, I misordered the parts, um, and so the pistons on the 18V are uh, press fit. With, so you have to heat up the uh, connecting rods to to uh, fit the the gungeon pin in there uh, to to put the pistons on, as opposed to uh, the circ clip or the pinch uh, pinch bolt type. I didn't know what a pinch bolt was, so I thought that that was what they were talking about, but uh, obviously that goes to a different type. I'll, I'll put some references on that as well, uh, just so you know uh, what the differences are in the pistons and what type of engine takes what type of parts. So anyway, I hope this demystifies that a little bit for you. Um, if you have any uh, uh, additional information that would help uh, other people, please do comment in the comments um, and uh, uh, let me know if you have any other experience with different types of engine types.